YouTube and welcome back. You know, I said it that my last video was going to be the last video. And uh, why? Why did I want that to be the last video? Um, I guess I had the belief. So I'm going to use that word belief because we all have beliefs. And beliefs can be changed. The story can be changed. So I had this belief that there was nobody out there who wanted to receive the messages that I attempt to send, that I try to share. Some of these messages are from my teachers, from my gurus, from my masters, who I learned from. And um, I just am... Um, continuing to share what they've taught me so um yeah it was going to be my last video but i did receive some text messages some face-to-face -face messages that said to me scott you gotta continue putting out videos you can't stop putting out videos we um, are all receiving um your message and the things that you're saying and you are helping people and that's what my channel, my YouTube channel is about. It's not about me. It's never been about me. It's not about money. And it's not about um, social status or becoming um, a channel with a lot of subscribers and the most comments and the most seen videos. That's not what it's about. I will attract those who are willing to receive my message and that's all I'm interested in attracting so we will call my last video my last video because maybe it has um, uh, removed or eliminated some of the people that were watching my videos just to um, get me to watch their videos in return that's not what it's about it's not about me. It's not about you when you're on your channel. It should not be about you. It should be about how can I help others. So I am making all kinds of different clips here and we'll just see how this goes. Um, you know, I, I want to get to the message for the video. Um, um, thank you everyone who uh, reminded me that this video this channel is about trying to help others and uh, i didn't think that this channel was helping others uh, until i put out that last video and that's why i put out that last video but uh i want to get to the message and the message is about waking up about changing the life that you currently have if you don't like this life that you're living how do we do it how do we wake up how do we become aware? And um, the information that I'm about to share with you, this is just information that I'm sharing from one of my teachers. You know, um, uh, her name is Sheila Thurman, and uh, I've talked about her before in my YouTube videos, and she's under the subscribe tab. Uh, you can go there and you can watch her videos and learn about the law of attraction and spirituality and who you really are. And, um, um, uh, what we're doing here on this planet and uh, but I want to tell you about there are four phases that go through in the process to becoming awake to enlightenment you can use the term the noun whatever you, makes you feel well whether it's becoming born again whether it's finding God uh, whether it is uh, enlightenment uh, or just waking up um, I'm sure there are plenty of other words out there but whatever words works for you but there are four phases that change us from who we used to be in that life to the new life that we seek and the first phase is it's unconsciously unaware you're not awake you're unconscious and you don't even know it you're just going through the paces of life you're programmed you're being programmed from the day that you start to understand the English language 
in communication with the parents, with your friends, with your family, with your teachers, and most of all, those boxes that you stare at. You're programmed. You're being programmed from the years of, you know, um, five, six, seven, eight. It's all programming because remember, if you've had children, do you remember that phase in their life? Why this? Why that? Why, why, why? It's always curiosity. That's programming. You're being programmed. When you say, why does the sun come up? And someone tells you, um, because somebody put another quarter in the machine and it made the sun come up. It's a belief that you were given. You believe that the sun comes up now because somebody put a quarter in a machine and there comes the sun. It's doing its rotation around the planet. Um, <laughs> but uh, unconscious and unaware. You're just going through life. You're reacting to the things that happen in life. And you don't even know that, um, that you're unconscious. And then something happens. Be it a brush with death. Uh, a stay in the intensive care unit for a period of time, uh, old age, you start to get on in the years and you realize, you know what, I don't have many more days left here. Um, and maybe I should start to find out why I'm really here. What is the meaning of life? Why are we here? And um, that is unconscious and aware. You know that something's not right. You know that things around you aren't, are different. They're not the same as your life. And, um, and uh, you, you, you want to say, that's that little bit that says, hey, what's going on here? How can I change that? Man, I sure am not happy with this life that I'm living. And it's those belief systems that you were programmed with that are causing this life that you're having to be so miserable. We could say that if it's miserable. And um, you become, then you become consciously aware and you start to find the answers. You seek out a psychologist or a psychotherapist or a spiritual teacher. Books, you start to read, you start to learn. Uh, books, Eckhart Tolle, Yogananda Pramazana, Louise Hay, um, Victor Frankl, Elliot Fox. You know, all of these, Neville Goddard, I could go on and on and on. There are so many educational speakers out there that teach you about spirituality. The Buddha, Jesus Christ, yeah, um, uh, Babaji, you know, on and on and on. Um, and um, you are aware that you need to become educated and that is consciously aware. And then the final phase, it doesn't happen overnight. It is a process and you have to work at it. And um, the Seven Day Mental Diet by Elliot Fox. I was looking for the book. I just found it and now I've misplaced it again. I put it away. You know, <laughs> you put things away in a little tiny RV and you can't find it. But anyhow, uh, the Seven Day Mental Diet, that is a great challenge. I challenge all of you out there. You want to talk about a YouTube challenge? I challenge you to the Seven Day Mental Diet Challenge from Elliot Fox. Try it. Um, and... Um, so the final phase is that you are, um, you're conscious and uh, you're unaware and um, you don't even know that you're living this new lifestyle and um, life is great. So uh, the question to you is, where are you? What phase are you in? Are you awake? Are you, are you unconscious and unaware and just going through life and reacting to everything that happens to you in life? Uh, or are you um, are you consciously aware? Where are you? So um, anyhow, I hope that this message has served you and has helped you and um, that you can work towards um, the life that you want. 